Francesco Ferrioli is currently the youngest coach in the top five leagues aged just 34, and is also set top of League One, unbeaten after his first 10 games. This alone has undoubtedly caught the eye of many football fans around the world. But what is the system that has gotten him there? In possession. In possession Ferrioli's side set up in a 4-3-3 base shape, that has the fluidity to rotate dependent on the opposition's pressing structure. For example, against Lille they set up in a 2-3-2-3, but the 8s would often rotate onto the second line to create a 2-4-1-3. They also look to use free man principles against Lille, due to them having a plus one in build-up. EK would play into the RCB, Tadibo, who'd then bait a press from the left winger. This would then trigger the right 8 to drop in allowing Tadibo to play into the 8, who'd then play into the freed RB. Against PSG on the other hand, they rarely looked to play short, and were content with going direct into Moffi, Diop and Labad, who could then attack quickly and exploit PSG's weaknesses in transition. They facilitated this approach by overloading the first third of the pitch, and keeping the midfield very narrow, allowing for numerous passing angles into the front line. The short spaces in midfield meant that when they did want to play short, there were numerous rotations, angles and a lot of fluidity in the first phase, leading to a disjointed PSG press. Out of possession. Their out of possession abilities have impressed me the most. Primarily set up in a 4 1 4 and 1 5 4 and 1 5 2 3 hybrid, nice seen to limit the opposition's biggest threats excellently. Ferrioli's pragmatic mindset is clear to see in his out of possession setups. He's quick to adapt should the opposition find a way to exploit Nice's current structure. Against Lil, for example, they started off in a 5 4 1 with Ndeshimi of playing as a pure CB. Then Haraldson, 10 below, kept picking up spaces in the pocket, and due to Nice facing a 3v2 overload in midfield, he was consistently left unmarked. After just two minutes in Deishimia, 6 below, was then given the license to step out and perform the hybrid 6 slash CB role, and this meant Haraldson was more often than not marked, and therefore it became much harder for Lil to progress. Against PSG on the other hand, Nice went completely man for man in PSG's first phase. This was largely down to Donnarumma's poor distribution, meaning he'd struggle to play over the top and find the runners in behind consistently. Their man-to-man -man press led to the first goal. Tadibo followed Bat, who had dropped deep to get the ball. Rather than setting it off early, Bat held onto the ball for too long and was ultimately dispossessed by Tadibo. Nice's press and counter press are very intense, which is a big chance creator for them. However, it's the timing of the press that allows for them to create chances. They have two main pressing triggers. The primary one is when the ball goes wide and into a player with bad body shape. The bad body shape often limits their passing angles, allowing for Nice to win possession easier. Or they look to bait the opposition into playing into their pivot, and then jump onto them from all angles. They only do this if the opposition deploy a single pivot as once again. This limits the passing angles. Angles. Profiling. Ferrioli's profiling of the squad so far has been fantastic too. In Moffy they have an excellent outlet number 9, who allows for Labbard to make the runs inside, by vacating central areas and running the channels, with a bias to the left hand side. Labbard is a fantastic finisher who attacks the back post, and often targets the LBLCB channel. The RW Boger or Diet are the most creative of the front three, and often look to get the ball to feet to create. When the RW gets the ball to feet in deeper areas, they look to draw the LB out as a result, triggering a run in behind from either Moffy or the right 8 Thurum. Not only does this create hesitance in the FB's mind, but it gives the RW a simple passing option, or they can take the risk and attack the vacated central areas. In midfield, Nice have two all-action eights Thurum and Sanson, with Thurum being the more attacking of the two. Thurum is a key player in this Nice side, due to his excellent ball carrying in transition, and his ball striking from around the area. They're both incredibly disciplined out of possession, allowing Nice to execute a wide variety of setups. Whether that be a full man-to-man -man press like they did against PSG, or their well-structured block, that they often look to when the opposition are in possession in the middle and final third. The usage of their Swiss Army knife Yusuf Neishimiya facilitates the majority of their setups. Comfortable in possession and in a number of different roles, he's a large reason as to why Nice can execute a number of different setups in and out of possession. At the back they have a great mix of youth and experience. Dante and Tadibo complement each other excellently, due to Tadibo's pace and ability to cover large distances quickly, coupled with Dante's experience and reading of the game. Both are capable ball players. 
and have a wide range of passing angles. They are also able to progress via the carry should the spaces open, albeit Tadibo is far more willing to carry than Dante. At left back Melvin Bard is similar to the 2-8s, in the sense that he's very all-action. A willing defender and great on the overlap, he offers an abundance of threat and defensive security. Right back is probably their weakest position, but it's a testament to Ferrielli, as it isn't glaringly obvious at all. Both Lombard and Atal are fantastic going forward. Atal's final ball is better, but Lombard is very good on the carry, and more than capable 1v1. In goal they have Marcin Balka, who is a fantastic shot stopper, and comfortable with the ball at his feet as seen against PSG, where he helped Nice escape the press with his longer passing. Conclusion I do believe that Ferrioli's Nice will go far this season. The wide variety of chance creation methods, their tactical adaptability and the pragmatism out of possession make them strong contender for not only Champions League positions, but for the league in my opinion.